Well, looks like you caught me unaware, but now that you're here, let's talk about the specs, price, and performance of the RTX 40 series. Before that, this video is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is a powerful online platform from which you can create your website fast and easy. Connect with your audience and generate revenue through members-only content, manage your members, send email communications, and leverage audience insights all in one easy-to-use platform. Not only that, but Squarespace allows you to truly create an online community through the use of its powerful blogging tools, ability to display social media posts right on the website, and extensions to help you manage inventory, promote products, and streamline bookkeeping. So if you're interested in a great website creation tool and you'll want to support the channel, go to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash graphically challenged to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. So as of late, there's been an absolute mountain of leaks around the RTX 40 series, and in fact, guys, at this point, I think we have enough information to put together the final specs, price, and performance for the RTX 40 series, and more importantly, we can finally answer the question, what are the final TDPs for these cards really gonna look like? Well, in order to answer that question, let's go ahead and take a look at the chart. So first, starting off with the specs and taking a look at the RTX 4070, this one's gonna be based off of the AD104 die with 60 SM for a total CUDA core count of 7,680. Now, in terms of the boost clock, it should be 2.61 gigahertz, 12 gigabytes of GDDR6X memory running at 21 gigabits per second on a 192-bit bus for a total memory bandwidth of 504 gigabytes per second, 48 megabytes of cache, and a TDP of 260 watts. Now, you might notice that a lot of the TDPs I'm going to be talking about today are going to be a lot lower than some of the leaks that we've seen in the past. And guys, I do think this is going to be the case that we are going to see TDPs that are around this level. Now, there is a chance that between now and the final release, things could definitely change. So we'll have to wait and see if they end up being a little bit higher or a little bit lower. But as of now, here's where I believe things are going to be. And by the way, I will have my sources linked in the description below. As many aspects that I've got here have come from leakers such as like Red Gaming Tech, as well as Cop 87 Kimi. But now moving on to the RTX 4080. This one's going to be based off of the 8103 die, have around 76 SMs for 9,720 CUDA cores, a 2.6 gigahertz boost clock, 16 gigabytes of GDDR6X running at 21 gigabits per second on a 256-bit bus for a total memory bandwidth of 672 gigabytes per second. Now it's going to have 64 megabytes of cache, which is an absolutely massive increase over its predecessor, the 3080, and a TDP of 320 watts. Now moving on to the 4080 Ti, yeah, we'll throw this one in here, even though I didn't actually say we're going to talk about it. 8102 die, it's going to be based off of, it's going to have 104 SMs for 13,312 shaders, a 2.4 gigahertz boost clock, 20 gigabytes of GDDR6X running at 21 gigabits per second on a 320-bit bus for a total memory bandwidth of 840 gigabytes per second. Now, in terms of cache, it should have around 72 megabytes, but we'll just have to wait and see when the final thing releases. In terms of the TDP, I am expecting around 380 watts. Now, moving on to the RTX 4090. This is going to be based off the 8102 die. Once again, have 128 SMs for a total CUDA core count of 16,384, a boost clock of 2.52 gigahertz, 24 gigabytes of of GDDR6X memory running at 21 gigabits per second on a 384-bit bus for a total memory bandwidth of 1,008 gigabytes per second. Now, in terms of the cache, this should have 72 megabytes and a TDP of around 420 watts. So it's going to be a little bit of an increase there, but not a massive one. And then finally, we have the RTX 4090 Ti. This one should be based off of the full 8102 die with 144 SMs for a total CUDA core count of 18,432, a 2.6 gigahertz plus boost clock, 24 gigabytes of GDDR6X running at 24 gigabits per second on a 384-bit bus for total memory bandwidth of 1,152 gigabytes per second. In terms of the cache, we're talking about a whopping 96 megabytes and a TDP of around 480 watts. So as you can see there, guys, yeah, I am expecting much lower TDPs than some of the stuff that was being thrown around online. Now, we do have to keep in mind that I think some of the earlier stuff was talking about TGP 
TPs and not TDPs, so it's going to be a little bit different there. And on top of that, we also have to keep in mind that some of the previous leaks, talking about like 600 and 800 watts, could be based off of test boards that maybe internally they were testing stuff just in case AMD had something that was just absolutely insane and they had to turn their clocks to 11. Honestly, what I'm hearing right now is it sounds like NVIDIA is pretty confident in the lineup that they have right now, and they've decided to go ahead and go for a little bit more reasonable TDPs. So that is going to mean that, yes, these cards are going to be a little bit easier to run, but as you can see, I do believe the TDPs overall are going to be going up. But that being said, no, I don't think you're going to be seeing a 600-watt card and definitely not an 800-watt card. I wouldn't say that 600 watts is off the table. But it sounds like right now that's probably very unlikely to be the case and probably 450 to 480 watts is going to be the upper range from what I know right now. But now let's go ahead and talk about the price, performance, and release date. And first, starting off once again with the RTX 4070, this thing should come in at a price of $599. In terms of performance, be around 15% faster than an RTX 3090 and have a reveal date in September of 2022 and availability hopefully by December of 2022. Although it is possible this one could end up getting pushed back into early early 2023. And real quick guys, I do want to mention that all three of these cards are likely to be released in September of 2022, and it's possible that the exact date could be somewhere between the 19th and 22nd of September, as it looks like Nvidia is going to be having a technology conference during GTC 2022 between the 19th and the 22nd. So it is possible that they could be revealing these cards during that event, although if they do decide to go ahead and focus in on AI, it's possible that the reveal date could be pushed back all the way into October. But as of now, yes, it is looking like sometime in September is going to be likely and possibly between the 19th and the 22nd. Now moving on to the RTX 4080, I'm expecting this one to come in at a price of $849, be around 40% faster than an RTX 3090, have a reveal date of September 2022, and availability in November of 2022. Then finally, the RTX 4090 is going to have a price of around $1,799, be around 80% faster than an RTX 3090, which by the way, when I talk about faster, we're talking about probably synthetic. We'll have to wait and see how it scales in games, but in terms of a reveal date, again, September 2022, and availability, hopefully by October of 2022. So that one's going to be coming up actually pretty fast here, guys. And yeah, I'm actually getting really excited for the RTX 40 series because from everything that I'm hearing right now, it looks like not only these going to be an absolutely insane increase, in fact, the RTX 4090 Ti, at least in synthetics, could be as much as twice as fast as an RTX 3090, and it shouldn't be drawing 600 or even 800 watts, probably going to be a little bit closer to 450 to 500 watts which makes it a lot more reasonable to run so yeah i'm getting even more excited the closer we get to the 40 series because we're getting an insane performance power dry isn't going to be going up too much i don't think although it will be going up a little bit and overall it's just looking like the whole feature set of the 40 series is going to be absolutely insane as well i believe the ray tracing performance is going to go way way up and overall this is just going to be an absolutely fantastic series of cards and i also believe that this is going to be one of the best generations for trying to purchase a card as i believe that their availability on launch is going to be much much better than the rtx 30 series but hey that's just what i think what do you think the specs price performance and release date for the 40 series is really gonna look like let me know your guys thoughts in the comments below and of course i'll see you in the next video if you made it to the end of the video be sure to drop a like every time you do so amd and nvidia release new gpus also if you want to see more check out one of these related videos you won't be disappointed